Well, I have here a copy of the school recorder book too. Um, not my original copy. <laughs> That's long gone, I think. Um, this one, let's see if I can still play some of the tunes. <laughs> Now, when I when I learnt from this book, I had a really, really um, sort of old Rosetti wooden recorder. I think it's made in East Germany. The kind of like with the sort of reddish brown coloured varnish that <laughs> chipped off all over the show. I don't I don't have that recorder anymore. It sort of oh, came to the end of its life a long time ago. <laughs> so um, I'm going to play on this one which is a Takayama desk and in cherry which is very nice actually um, and I'm going to start with page four Ooh, where's it gone page four no nope, that's page four the Darby Kelly um, well, the first time I played the Darby Kelly properly I I didn't get how the rhythm went because it was in 6-8 and, and I was about 8. <laughs> and then I heard um, somebody play it and then straight away it made sense. Um, say the Darby Kelly. <laughs> Page five here we've got March from Scipio. It was one of my favourites when I was young. first saw your face I loved that one this this one here that's on page seven I'll play that one hmm. My goodness, I think that was the, um, the <laughs> one of the first things I learned from memory. <laughs> I got shouted at once um, when I was a child. I was I was playing green sleeves at the train station while I was waiting for the train to go to primary school, and um, I possibly very tired, possibly 
hungover commuter, uh, rolled down <laughs> the window of the train, leaned out and yelled, shut up at me. It didn't put me off for long. Um, I guess it was probably a bit high pitched for him at the time. <laughs> other favourites. I don't know. I remember playing all these. No particular favourites. Hmm. Oh, Swansea Town on page 21. I definitely remember playing that one. It's all a very long time ago now, of course. Hmm. Swansea Town, let's give it a go. David of the White Rock, one of my absolute favourites from this book. Sitting there on page 22. Absolutely loved this one. A little bit tricky. <laughs> a little bit tricky only because um, there's pinch G sharps in so when, when you're learning from this book uh, this, this is the first time pinch G sharp appears and they they stick it on a slur <laughs> it's, it's not easy um, yeah. then it goes ah oh, it even goes it goes look it goes this book goes to top C top C at the end there Goodness knows what my Rosetti recorder sounded like on top C. Huh. Yeah, so. Hmm. Then it goes on to treble recorder. Don't remember. Oh, I do remember Robin Adair. I loved Robin Adair. Um, I don't remember too many favourites. Since I first saw your face, I loved that one. Absolutely loved that one. I'll play it on Descan. duet that I never liked playing because it's so difficult to read <laughs> for beginners they need to put these things on separate lines it's just really hard to read like that uh, anything else I used to like oh yes the bore oh well I must get a treble for this I've got one sitting here really okay I'll play it on this Aralos hacker here and what, what are you 
used to do when I finally got a bass recorder. Um, I, I used to play that first bit on the bass a lot because I just like going from the F down to the F. I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed um, playing from the, the two books in the series, the orange one, which is School Recorder Book One, and this green one, School Recorder Book Two. And um, I still think they're great books. They, I mean, they require a certain amount of proficiency, top C, by the end of the descant section, and then straight off on treble. But yeah, they're re really lovely books still, in my opinion. I know they're old fashioned, but good tunes. 